it do? What's up? Can I? Hey, 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 hey. What's up, my vlogging fam? Welcome back to your girl's channel. It's your girl, Crystal, aka Curly Chris. And today's video, we're going to be getting into some essential natural hair products slash tools for the summer. Summer is right around the corner, which means we got to have our entire routine and products and technique down packed to beat and to sustain ourselves in this heat because the heat is coming y'all okay and this is going to be a very hot summer hot girl summer all that well i don't know about the hot girl summer because i'm married but anyway it's going to be a real intense summer okay so it's really important that you guys get the products and techniques and tools that you need so before i go ahead and get into the details of today's video if you are new to the channel welcome so happy to have you here, but if you are new, make sure you do one thing for your girl and one thing only, okay? And that is to smash that button down below. Smash that button down below. Hit it like you mean it and join the Curly Chris fam. We would love to have you here. All right, so let's hop right into today's video. Summertime is approaching, like I said, which means we have to adjust our natural hair routine because Based on the season, I feel like you should adjust what you're doing to your hair to adapt to the changes. So for the summertime, that means we're going to be having a lot of sweat, a lot of stickiness, probably product buildup on that scalp. Also, protective styling is something that happens a lot in the summer as well. So we really want to make sure we have the products that are necessary for that heat. So that's exactly what I'm giving you guys in today's video. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So one of the first things that I feel like is very, very important is because our hair is probably going to be sweating a lot, which means our scalp is going to be sweating a lot, we are probably going to be washing our hair more often. And in that case, one of the things that I recommend is the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. Do you guys know how I feel about this? I always use this Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. It is a shampoo and it does not strip at all. It is more of a moisturizing shampoo than a clarifying one or a stripping one. It does leave your hair super soft without removing a lot of that or without giving you that strip feeling, I should say. They now produce them with the direct applicator bottle. So it directly applies to your scalp, which means you can really get your scalp really really good and target your scalp specifically and if you've been following me for a while i feel like you should have the shampoo by now because i've been raving about it for years okay so you should most definitely have this in your collection however we won't need a shampoo every single time that we wash because our hair typically is not dirty it just has a little bit of sweat on our scalp and we may not like that so in those cases the ideal product in my opinion to use is a co-wash so a co-wash like the as i am co-wash and also the eden body works co-wash so the as i am coconut co-wash and the eden body works natural cleansing co-wash are both great items great options to choose from whenever you're wanting a co-wash that's going to clean and remove some buildup off of your scalp without stripping so a shampoo is necessary for sure for us to be using in the summertime but our hair may not be dirty, so we don't need to use that shampoo, especially if you're washing more than one time during that week. I really, really enjoy both of these co-washes and they have great cleansing properties as well. Another important item that you should have is growth serums or just some type of oil that you want to put on your scalp, especially if you're protective styling. So, so many people are getting box braids, they're getting the faux locks, they're getting wigs, so many type of, of so many type of protective styles and just things to just judge it up a little bit. So one of the things you are most definitely are going to want is a direct applicator serum, oil, something like that. This is the Coco Neve and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum that has Ayurvedic, Brahmi, and Amla oils in it from Camille Rose. And this one is great because it once again will target the scalp. So if you have braids or locks or something like that, you can literally apply this in between your scalp to make it feel really, really good. Another serum that is pretty good is the Curls Blueberry and Mint Scalp Treatment. This one is for the girls who like a little tingle, okay, or for the guys who like a little tingle. This one is bomb for that because it has that mint in it. So whenever you apply it, it just feels very fresh, very 
very cooling, which is also great for the summer because our scalps most definitely will be on fire from that heat. So it's a nice way to just cool down, to relax once you're doing your like skincare, your self-care days, put some minutes on your scalp chef's kiss honey so with protective styling another thing that i highly recommend i absolutely love this product that is the cream of nature argan oil strength and shine leave-in conditioner i have to have one of these during the summer or really any time i protect the style this is my go-to product it is so moisturizing to the scalp and it's so refreshing like whenever i have braids and i spray this onto my scalp it just feels so good and also because it has a cream inside of this so whenever you buy it it may be separated from dark to light so you want to shake it before you use it shake to activate and then spray it onto your scalp and this is amazing for the summertime like trust me i love this stuff <laughs> So in case you're someone who likes to re-moisturize your hair, which in the summertime, I kind of understand re-moisturizing more than the wintertime because the summertime, we do sweat our hair out more and things like that. So if you are someone who re-moisturizes a lot, one of the things that I would recommend is a spray like this one. This is the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. This one will be bomb for, for re-moisturizing. Now, I am not a fan of re-moisturizing as most of you guys know, but I do understand some people who do feel like they have to re-moisturize, but more so on a weekly basis or bi-weekly. But honestly, if you have a good routine, you probably won't have to re-moisturize. But in case that is you, then I do recommend to use this water because it is infused with JBCO. So that does help with strengthening. It gives you a tad bit more extra boost of moisture and nutrients than just regular plain old water. So last point about um, the pre-styling process, I would say is deep conditioning. So you have to deep condition in the summertime. Our hair sweats more, although it's not dried out more per se, like it is in the wintertime. That is a tip that I will give you guys no matter what season it is. You must deep condition your hair. That is top two, not number two, okay? So one that's really, really good that I have been loving on is the Dr. Miracle's Hydrating and Strengthening Deep Conditioner. This one has rice protein in it. This is one of the deep conditioners that I recently discovered and I super love it. Like it is so good, so moisturizing, so much slip. Um, it does a great job with giving me that protein that I need as well. But I only use this about once or twice a month because it does have that rice protein in it. But it is a really, really good strengthening and hydrating and also reducing frizz deep conditioner. Make sure that you are applying heat for 30 to 45 minutes regardless of the season. Now let's get into the fun part, the styling process. A really important part of the styling process is the actual styler, right? So with the style that you're doing, say you are not protective styling, if you're doing a twist out or something like I will be doing, I feel like it's very important to note what type of result you want and key the product that you're using or that, you, that you're going to pick around that result that you want. So say you're doing a twist out or a braid out, right? But you don't want something that's really, really heavy. You kind of want more of an airy, a fluffier type of result because it is hot outside and you may not want to use a really, really heavy product. So in that case, I would recommend that you use a custard or a mousse. So this is the Design Essentials Honey Curl Forming Custard. This is great to have on deck if you are someone who does not want such a strong hold twist out, but something that still is popping and moisturizing, I recommend doing a leave-in conditioner following up with this custard. And this is a bomb for a twist out. It also, by the way, side note, it just smells amazing, okay? It smells so good, y'all. And then if you also want a mousse, a mousse is most definitely going to give you more of an airy result, um, which is, once again, something that so many people go for in the summer for obvious reasons. Now, with this mousse, I also recommend this to people who have thicker hair types because this mousse gives you a tad bit more of a hold than a typical mousse, okay? And once again, just... Y'all, y'all, this smells so good. You know what's crazy? So this is about $16 in the store. But the Dollar Tree, 
let me go ahead and close it for y'all real quick. You see this Dollar Tree leaving? One dollar? Y'all, it smells just like it. I don't know what the scent is, but y'all, it's a, just it just says fragrance, perfume. It smells just like it. Now, I know in the summertime, a lot of us just don't want to deal with our hair at all. We don't want it in our face at all. Now, if that is you and you want to do a nice slick back ponytail or a high bun, I highly recommend getting you a quality gel. Get you a gel that is quality because if that's something that you like to do a lot, you want whatever product is touching or in your hair the most to be something that's going to do your hair well. So if you are a slick back kind of person, then try the Main Choice Rejuvenation Solution Design Gel. This one is super good and it's also quality and you get a whole lot of product in here for your buck. Like you get a lot of product and I've used this about two times already and it's still full. And it also smells really, really good. I like this one. When it comes to slick backs, I am a fan of them. However, one thing that you must note is you don't want to use or do a slick back too often. If you're doing it for a full week that and you're like re-slicking it back every single day, that could be hurting you more than helping you because the more and more and more you slick back your hair, the more and more and more your hair may just take on to that mold. And I know in my case, what happened with me was when I was transitioning, um, I was doing so many slick backs to where it altered my hair texture. So my hair started to become more wavy than curly because it was slick back so often. So it was like lessening my curl pattern, which a lot of people experience. Whenever I do a slick back, I'm only having it in my hair for two or three days. That's it. And then I'm washing that bad boy out. So one other thing when it comes to slicking down, honey. You got to slick down the edges. I mean, you don't have to. That's your business. But I mean, over here, we gonna slick down the edges, okay? We gonna make sure that they are nice and sleek. Hair that does not have sleek edges is still beautiful. I'm just saying for me and my household, we shall slick those edges. So the edge gel that I love the most, y'all already know what I'm about to say, is the Originals by Africa's Best Honey and Castor Edge Gel. I live by this stuff. This is like my third bottle of it. It's just really, really, really good for slicking down my edges. And honey, the edges do not come up. They don't even think about coming up. You hear me? Like, they don't even think about lifting. So the way that I do this is I slick it down with my toothbrush and some water. And then I tie it up. You have to tie the edges down for at least like 30 minutes to an hour. I do mine overnight just to make sure that they are nice and slayed and laid, okay? Now, that ends the products portion of the video. I did also want to share some tools and just some generic items that I think are amazing for the summertime when it comes to our natural hair. First thing being is like, you know sis how you may just be like, you just don't feel like doing your hair. You don't feel like doing it or it's wash day tomorrow and the hair just looks tired. And this is usually the time where you're throwing that bonnet and say forget it. Now, instead of going out in public with that bonnet, let's spruce it up a little bit and we can get a lazy hat. Okay? Now, the lazy hat is a bomb way to not wear your hair out but still look really, really good and presentable and just like an on-the-go mom or on-the-go human being, you know? So you go ahead and slick that hair to the back, twist it, whatever you gotta do, and boom, throw on the lazy hat. And it's super, super convenient. I absolutely love this. I've used it plenty of times and it looks like I just got some inches, okay? So I really do recommend the lazy hat for all of us who are lazy. And don't feel like doing our hair. Okay? Like, it's a bomb idea and it's perfect for the summer as well. Talking about hats, another one is a backless hat. So, this is Ivy Park hat. Um, I really do like this hat because it's backless and my puff can just be like floating and screaming and doing its own little thing back here, right? Without it being smushed and everything. So, I really do like this backless hat. Um, this is another option for the summer that I do like just go ahead and grab. But... Honestly, like, of course, you ain't got to have an Ivy Park hat. This is just one that I bought, but there's plenty of backless hats on the market that you guys can get on the low low. Something else that I'm going to mention is just some satin items, just in general, in case you guys need them. This is a satin scrunchie in case you want to pull your hair back. It's way better than using headbands. I mean, it's way better than using hair ties because it's satin. 
Also a satin line bonnet. You guys already know why this is important. And then lastly, a satin scarf to tie down your edges whenever you are slaying them. So that is the conclusion of today's video of my essential summer hair care products and items that I feel like you guys really would need for the summer. I feel like if you get these items, you are going to be set. Whether you're protective styling or wearing your real hair, you are going to be set. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any of these products or if you're going to get any of these products. I will link as many as I can down below in the description box for you guys access. So let me know what you guys thought about today's video and if it was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Also, join the fam if you have not already. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Peace.